Looking for a cool way to tell your son or daughter, or your niece or nephew, or your grandchild you're proud of them? Well, why not highlight his or her success on national television? Send us a picture or a short video spotlighting the achievement, and we'll give them a special mention live during our primetime weekend newscast. Just go to newsnationnow.com slash kidsnation. To Ohio now, where a 21-year-old woman is alive after a car crash that sent her down a 20-foot ravine. Trapped down there for hours, she fought through the pain to save herself. News Nation's Suzanne Strafford has her story of survival. It happened, honestly, like in, the, in a flash. Driving in heavy rain when her car hydroplaned around Dead Man's Curve on State Route 82 in Garrettsville. And then my car went airborne and I landed in a little creek. At the bottom of a 10 to 20 foot ravine and just the start of Lexi Laporte's heroic fight to save her life. No one knew where I was and that was also the scary part. The 21 year old remembers heading home in the stormy weather around 1 a.m. May 22nd, then waking up inside of her crushed car. And my hand was stuck in between the door and then my foot, my leg was broke. With her free arm, she grabbed a backpack in the back seat and wrapped her wounds with a t-shirt and tape while struggling to free her hand. I'm down there for, I don't know, eight, nine hours. Trying to get So I'm just free. like yelling for help, screaming for help. I keep passing out, waking up. By the grace of God, by my last pull, it came unstuck. No idea how that happened. Then with her good leg, she kicked out the windshield. With all of my might, it took a couple kicks, but I got it. I made a hole big enough for me to get through. And crawled up the ravine to the road. My legs broke and I'm also climbing on my knees. I can't use this hand, so I'm pulling with this hand. And then I climb under the guardrail. There's cars driving past. Finally, two different people stopped to help and called her mom, Erin, who thought she was staying at a friend's. And so I just tried to stay calm and breathe and not pass out, you know, from seeing her and, and thinking about how much pain she was in. Life flighted to university hospitals in Cleveland where she's undergone multiple surgeries and faces more. I'm just going to have to learn how to walk again and I mean I still have bruises everywhere. But through sheer grit and determination Lexi not only survived but is thriving. Honestly it just still doesn't feel real like I just didn't want to die down there. <laughs> Suzanne Stratford News Nation. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.